do anything. He may have, may or may not have put something in people's drinks or offered people. Why drugs. you always go with? Uh, I'm going with what's Brandon. I'm not. This is what people have alleged in interviews. I'm just bringing up the points. I'm this is this not what people have said. Topic. You All know, right, since it's, let's talk about did. Let's talk about did it there. <laughs> what is, Let's talk about some Diddy. Uh, Puff Daddy, you know, as everyone knows, his house was raided. It's been some uh, allegations filed against him, which, you know, kind of started with Cassie. He settled with Cassie. So what uh, happened? Another, okay. So something happened with Cassie. Okay. Another producer, another producer uh, was, uh, I guess he alleged some things in a lawsuit. And well, it kind of just camera, Brandon, could get well, right. I don't know. Yeah. Right. But keep going with it. I'm sorry to break out. Let me oh, no, get that's okay. back in. Uh, but uh, yeah, just all that stuff kind of snowballed into him and these charges and him being named as, I guess, a, a sex trafficker or just being in, in some kind of stuff where people are doing stuff sexually against their will. Not not necessarily against their will, but they just they don't feel all the way comfortable with it. So. Uh -huh. Is what what it, but and it's like a me media push to go ahead and uh condemn him and joke about him and not people not even saying pause anymore, they're saying no diddy because you know he may be doing some sexual stuff in the bedroom. But he is like I say, he's still innocent. How do you feel about this? I believe Sean Johns did not break any law that's on any state law books maybe federal right. maybe different <laughs> right right and, and, I, and i i agree with that like i think he's doing some weird stuff some shady stuff some but hey but wait hold on hold on i think he's leveraging his celebrity and his power and his money what which, which people do for for his sexual gratification like he's like look if you want to party with me this is what i like to do I don't think he forced anybody to do anything. He may have, may or may not have put something in people's drinks or offered people. Why drugs. you always go with? Uh, I'm going with what's Brandon. I'm not. This is what people have alleged in interviews. I'm just bringing up the points. I'm this is this not what people have said? No, I never heard none of those. Okay, stuff but he said. <laughs> well, it's been what's the it's his bodyguard Gene Deal. He's been doing interviews. There's been other people. They say it's some um, like if you go to a party. It's uh, champagne bottles over here for the girls, and it's champagne bottles over here for everyone else. And they've alleged that it, these champagne bottles have been spiked. I'm just telling you the facts that are that and, people okay, have said on the As a grown man, you're <laughs> 30, I, I'm, 8, 34 <laughs> years old. I'm, I'm with you going to party. <laughs> Should you drink out any of those drinks, Brandon? <laughs> Good point. Good, and that's what I want to get to. That's what I, that's what I want to get to. If I go to a party. And say and say I'm I'm 21. I'm a grown up, right? You're a grown up, and I make I make a decision. If I see this bottle, it's already open. Dang, what the? Yeah, this ain't got no factory seal on it. Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> is that the safest thing to do for a man or a woman to do? No, it's not. And if I start feeling woozy and all that kind of stuff, the next day either I have to call the police and start a report or. Like I just I just made a mistake. I have to learn from it, and you know I have to move on. In the words of Dick Gregory, mm -hmm. a person if you slip a person <laughs> a pill, uh huh, and if you put a pill on person drinks and they drink it mm -hmm. at a party, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But if you go to a party and people handing you weird looking <laughs> drinks and you a dope and you put it to your lips, All right? Yes, the law could have been broken. But where is the accountability not to drink <laughs> stuff from Bill Cosby? <laughs> huh? I hear you. But and and like I say, Lewis, if you did this and you you felt in your mind like Man, that wasn't right, like I've been drinking for for a couple of years and I know when I'm just regular drunk, or I know when I feel extra, extra. Go ahead. What, what you about wrong. to say? Go ahead. First of all, let's start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Why are you coming to Puff Daddy House, Brandon? <laughs> well, <laughs> clearly, I'm trying to advance my career. I'm not private, trying to private party now. <laughs> right. 
maybe I'm I'm a special person and he just he just knows that how he, he's a good person. He wants to bless me with a great time. No, you said no. So you won't go over a person's house for that. Why are you going to <laughs> no, see I wouldn't. Daddy <laughs> in an all white party? Right. That's a good point. Do you so what do you think people are, are going for? They want they want an experience. They want okay, they want whatever okay. comes with this. And Puff Daddy pays you five grand uh-huh. and say, Come to this party, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> That's, but, but, you took but the you five know. grand. Why are you coming <laughs> over there, Brandon? <laughs> this, this, you know but that's what, what people. You're right, but that's what the people don't think about. Like what? What? So you think this man just inviting you for just because he want to have he want to have fun, and he wants you to be a part of it? No, people want to. They want, it's give and take. You want to be at this party? It's going to cost you something. You can go down the street and go to a party, but this is an elite. This is this man. I'm not sure if he's a billionaire now, but this man is a wealthy man. A man. Uh-huh. He's inviting you to a party. He all he want to do is party and have fun. And you don't know what kind of go ahead. lives in uh, the house and is adjusted by income. So <laughs> you got to adjust the rent by income. Good point. Good point. And you go <laughs> to a billionaire house, right? You make this much, you know. You make this much. He makes this much. Y'all shouldn't even be networking with each other or communicating. And he tells you some to come reason, over, right? For some reason, he wants you to come over. And what time? What time of the day is this, Brad? It's not five p.m. It's not. It's late night. And late what, night. What, what, what time is late night? Give me something. Well, I know he called one. Was it Columbus Short? I think he called Columbus Short one time in the middle of the night. What so time was that? About three in the morning. One. Okay, one that's about three. right. So you go in the Puff Daddy house anywhere between 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. or even 10 p.m. Is that business hours? On. Is that business hours or is that that's pleasure hours? What we kind of work? I don't know. I don't know, Brandon, what hours it is. That's just the time. <laughs> I don't know what they could do. A lot of business go on 11 o'clock. Okay, fair they enough. So people in London from America, of course you go talk <laughs> around that time. So you should be safe going over to Puff Daddy's house late at night. Because he, he might be just talking business. He might have some business stuff to go over with you. Yeah, but you already took payment. <laughs> <laughs> so if you took payment, what right. services will you be offering to Puff Daddy? <laughs> just me being, you know, around him, talk, conversation. Nah, uh, right? you took payment, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> okay so it was it was in a it, but you know what with him it's it's kind of like jail when when you sit down somebody offer you some cornbread or you know offer you an extra plate it's not at the kindness of their heart some pe- people do that kind of stuff because they want something in return and it may be now if they put a tip on top of that would it be out of the kindness of the heart brother so what was you something not the kindness of your heart <laughs> <laughs> he said, I give you a hundred to do this, uh-huh. but he gave you a hundred and fifty. <laughs> Where did the fifty dollars come from? Why they put why he put extra on the brother? You know why, and they know why. Uh kindness of the heart. See, Brandon don't know. <laughs> uh, some people can do things that the kindness of their heart. They can, they can. But but if you've already heard rumors that it's it's some stuff going down at these parties, and if you don't get down like that. You just have to be aware of the environments you go into. What, Brandon, do people hear rumors that um, if you get a credit card, uh, you don't have to pay off because they can't come and get it? Do people hear rumors like that? <laughs> they do hear rumors. Do people hear rumors like this? Uh, <laughs> it's okay to quit your job before you get another job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, they do. And they so, do it anyway, right? And then you have to, to deal with the conversation. You have to you deal know, with the consequences. Ain't no rumors. The people know it what it is. <laughs> it ain't no rumors. It's okay. So look, I'm trying to think of somebody else. So uh, who is there a celebrity that you would go to, uh, you would hang out with? If, if a celebrity hits you up, let me try to think. If, if LeBron James was like, hey, Lu- hey, Lewis, I like what you're doing. Come party with us. Yeah, I'm I'm going to send you something. You 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 get on a jet <laughs> and you and you come hang out with us. All right, first I got to look at what Brandon lead out. What, what video went viral? <laughs> okay, okay. So, so that's a good point. You need the, to you need to make sure that it's a reason <laughs> somebody <laughs> LeBron James shared our video 
And that okay. video got 12 million views. Okay. Then LeBron said, man, come out here. Let's shoot another video. You blow up one more time. <laughs> right. Okay. Stuff and, like that. Okay. In a public yeah. setting at a, a, a charity <laughs> event. Yes, I come out oh, yeah. there. Okay. Okay. You know, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know that's the only way it's going to happen. I got you. But I think what with some um, instances, I guess people want to work for these artists. Like they want to intern for Diddy. And you know they feel like their their career is going to kind of take off. It's kind of similar to like R. Kelly. Like, hey, let's do some music, and well, let's let me here's my kid. Like, turn my kid into a celebrity. Like, help us, and I'll tr- I'll just trust you. Going to do the right thing. I'll just trust you're going to take care of the situation and do the right thing. Yeah, that's what people do. Um, I do want to say something about. A lesson about Diddy. I didn't do it yet. It's in my what? phone to do. But Diddy, just like any other celebrity, they have a whole bunch of snitches out here. Boosie, <laughs> okay. he had a snitch. <laughs> right. DG, he had a snitch. Uh, Puff Daddy, he had a stitch. Now, Rick Ross uh, did a song using video that was probably recorded of Puff Daddy mm. while he was talked to one of his employees in 2003. Mm. Okay. Uh, it got Diddy being recorded unpronounced in him mm. talking about, do you want to be a rope nigga? <laughs> or do that. you want to walk with God? <laughs> Make up your damn mind. Right. Which is a hard line, I guess, and it you know for musical purposes, you know. But Brandon, somebody was recording Puff Daddy on record. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he got people around him. Yeah. Recording all his words, and he don't even know about it. <laughs> and all the stuff he does at these parties too, like people know what's going on, and it's not something new. This is something that's been going on since. You know, the 90s. We're not going to say the 90s, but when his rise, you think Puff Daddy's just been partying and doing this stuff? This stuff been going on forever. He's been doing this since he went to Howard. (laughs) You're right. He was a Howard Bison. Right. And and that's that's kind of my thing. Like, people act like this is just something he's doing. This is something a lot of people do. This is okay until it's not okay with somebody. And then everybody sees money and they, they want the money. They want the attention. And I kind of think, do you think anything's going to happen to Diddy? I, I'm really not sure if they're going to be able to charge no. him with something. No, you don't. See, here's the thing, Brennan. If they had something, Diddy would be arrested. Right. So since Diddy got people recording him all the time, they gave somebody talk to the fans and say, y'all need to... Uh, in this room, he keep records right here. So y'all mm-hmm. need to do a raid, <laughs> right. you know. Right. And they they did a raid to try to dig on stuff. If they had stuff, he'll be arrested. Right. But right. They, even they, go ahead. They trying to figure out get something uh through that raid. Yeah. So and I think I really don't got nothing. Right. And I think if he does have something, Diddy, I think Diddy is smart enough to have dirt on other people too. So. You know, you may you may see him in the legal system, but him actually going down for something, I I just don't see it because. But now I think it's, it's similar on other people, other people like who other Negro. He's the top, right? I hear you, but it's a lot of execs. It's a lot of people that don't want to go to jail. That's going to look out and they're going to they're going to talk to the judges, talk to the prosecutors that need to be talked to to get him out of you know any jail time or anything like that. Like this, it's going away. R- like I said, R. Kelly did the same thing when he was up. He made everything go away when he was on his decline. He didn't make anything go away. The people who made money off him made. That's what I'm saying. They, 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 they um, massaged the hands that needed to be massaged. They paid everybody off because they were still profiting at the time off of him in a major way. <laughs> What's it? I saw this post that you did too, which is now Brandon. In life, this is why I seen. Okay. This is based on scientific evidence from my point of view only in life. 
You see different people. I feel, in I feel life. the same. I feel the same way. But go ahead. How you feel the same way? Because we talked about it when when people have their eyes too close together, and they're too bitty. far apart to get uh, you know too far apart, or they have features that aren't normal. Because you've seen Puff Daddy, like I think people made fun of how his teeth are. Like I'm not saying anything is wrong with him, but you for some people you can just tell something. It, it's just not. Something's off a little bit. There you go. There you go. Right there. there you go. <laughs> so <laughs> is that a big head, Brandon? Is his head big? <sighs> kind of, yeah. But compared to his eyes, don't make his eyes look small as hell. Yeah, it's all it's not it's not symmetric. <laughs> Most people they're they're symmetrical and we're designed in a way where it's it's perfect. God kind of made us a certain way. If you split it down the middle, yeah, see, but see, but see how the eyes are. Who had ours? Or you tell me. <laughs> I never ex- told us how I feel about people. You but I think we talked. We've talked about. We talked about that. I can't remember what topic we were on, but you know, this is the sign that your your something's wrong with a chromosome, or you know, you you were like, what's what's the word? It's like you were close to being like nah, the cave, caveman. Or, I won't say that. I just say, why well, see people with them real bitty eyes? <laughs> they be doing like criminal crimes. Mm. They be doing like criminal crimes. Like, if you go back to, if you look at how animals are designed, the uh-huh. closer your eyes are together, and the smaller <laughs> and the directly forward, uh-huh. that means you're a predator. <laughs> okay, you know? and that may be right. That there, there may be something like that could be studied, and you look at the data and see that. But I'm I'm with you. Yeah, uh, like you look at a cheetah, cheetah eyes directly in front, close mm-hmm. together, predator. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? But you but, now. Uh, look, oh, look, 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 look at a damn uh, a hawk. A hawk got two eyes right there. A predator, <laughs> you know. I got you. I got you. A viper, a predator. Then you can go to the other, the other right. side of the deliver. Mm, right. Spaced out. I said, why well, see people with eyes like, like spaced out like this? Mm-hmm. I said they, they may say some silly stuff, or. They'll commit silly crimes like get caught stealing socks from the Target or something. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yes, it's, and Brandon, is that a silly crime, Brandon? Yes, it is. Yes, it but is. But people still and, do it, right? Right, right. right. <laughs> Give me these and, socks. <laughs> and we're not and we're not making fun of people like this, but it's just something to pay attention to when when you when you're interacting with people. So you know how to read them, know how to move forward. Because it's, people have all kinds of diseases, deformities. Like what did Chris Rock say? He got Asperger's. Like you know, if you kind of look at some of how he acts and some things he says, like it's a way to kind of diagnose people in a in a sense. So if, yeah, if you don't know, go back. <laughs> small beady eyes close together, mm-hmm. predator. <laughs> you know, right here, gorilla, prey. She gonna say some, she could do she could do some foolish stuff and say some foolish stuff. I got you. You take a you take an antelope in Africa, one eye is over here, <laughs> one eye over there. They can't focus on everything. Right. They right. gotta be wide open like they're spaced out. <laughs> right. And that's how they be acting. People act too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a predator be right. It's locked in, focused, yeah. you know. She be hunting, they're hunting. Like at the end of know. the day. The day got in, you know. Mm-hmm. She she yeah. made that's a quote from her. She said that to the President Obama. Obama. Right. <laughs> and then, and the day the day got in, President. <laughs> I I you know like I said I'm trying to catch up on some of the stuff, but I did hear hear about uh, them talking to Glorilla. Ah, oh, so boring. It's so boring. I wish I had a cover that speaks to me. What is this? Oh my gosh! Coloring book of black icons. Viola Davis. Mm. Ooh, this is cool. Taylor is a super talented basketball coach and former player. Okay, I'll tell you about some good people. Wow! It's Michael Jackson! Does this look like Michael Jackson? Or 
Discover your coloring book of black icons today. Introducing the coloring book of black icons, a vivid coloring book celebrating famous African-American figures from Simone Biles to Michael Jackson. It nice your child imagination from learning about inspiring leaders in history. Each page is a journey through courage, creativity, and chains. Let's color the story that shaped the world.